So why is the Bill Skarsgård trying to get Henry Deaver's attention? What's this Henry about? Henry Matthew Deaver, based out of Houston, grew up 20 miles that way, Castle Rock, bad reputation. Big mess with the state police when he was a kid. Pulled some stunt, ran away from home. People thought somebody took him. Half the state's out looking for him, middle of winter. And what they find is his father, half froze and his back's broken. Doesn't last three days. Kid comes sashaying back from the dead like Tom Sawyer to find out he's got no dad. And the town blames him. Claimed he couldn't remember a thing. We are not bringing a criminal defense attorney into an internal corporate matter. Okay, so this is kidnapping, though, and false imprisonment. Just FYI. What? 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 Look, I shouldn't even be calling you, but listen, listen. They found a kid in a cage. No one else is going to help him. Shawshank State Prison. Good lad. Who, who is this? What a dude. You need to sober up. You've got asshole sorting out to do. He is hands down the creepiest looking Scar's guard, isn't he? If I find out you've been subcontracting me. What? You'll tell your homeroom teacher? It's, what it's for me. Where do you get the eight fives? She's in like, but I'm a cheerleader and the L word and loads of other stuff. She knows Henry. Hmm? Jesus. Hey, Keller. Minus 40 last night. Okay. How cold that is. Freeze to death in an hour. And you've been gone 11 days. So what happened out there? You know what happened to your father? Did you bring your own chainsaw? Well, then, uh, let's check the garage. Come on now. We were all immigrants once. Except said and bull. <laughs> I'm not like the others. I adopted a black son. Mom, Mom, it's me. I'm Henry. Oh, my God. I called you this morning. I had to fly in for a, a, a work thing, but I wanted to see you. Maris watching the baby? Wendell is 15, Mom. Is someone in the house? You know, there's easier ways to get a man out of the shower. <laughs> Henry, do you know Alan Pangborn? He's our county uh, sheriff. Was. Been a few years now, Ruth. Alan? It's 
What is this, Alan? You living here? Frequent flyer. Your mother and I enjoy one another's companionship. And my father's shirts, you enjoy those too? I don't think he's gonna miss it. Where is he? Who? My father. Oh. I stopped by the church and the cemetery is, is gone. Mm, yeah, the church made some wildcat investments, didn't pan out, had to parcel the land. So they just paved over the bodies? No, they moved them. <sighs> To a yard up in Niner by the airport. They can't do that without our permission. Your mother gave it. Wow. You signed for her. I deposited the distress settlement for her, too. Please don't eat the mice. lawyer and you don't know your client's name i got a call one of your prisoners asked for me i didn't get all the details why is everyone in this town a complete dickhead i'll find out who called him what did pruitt say you don't get on the board by bringing problems on the board my job is to fix things wow my uh father worked here I visited a lot anyway, back in the 80s. Oh, really? Corrections? Ecclesiastes. Pastor. He led Bible study from time to time. <sighs> Any idea why Warden Lacey would have... Forced by out. Some folks are just not cut out for the 19th hole. Some people guillotine themselves for the Lincoln. Because everybody deals with retirement differently. I wish I could help you find your client, Mr. Deaver. I can't very well call up a ghost. Thing is, a ghost called me. The average CO is a 25-year-old who makes $9 an hour. These guys don't think much of lawyers. And in a state as lily white as Maine, is it possible that you were a victim of prank? If this was a goose chase, I hope you'll accept my apologies. Actually, it would be pretty odd if we did have one of your clients. Maine got rid of the death penalty 150 years ago. How'd you know I work capital cases? Sorry? I didn't say I work capital. Well, we don't have gallows here, but we do have cable news. I was sorry to hear about your client. You slipped up, lady. He knows. Yes. Zalewski. I like Zalewski. You can be a daddy? You knew Dale Lacey a long time, right? The warden? We weren't exactly handball buddies. Why'd he do it? This might surprise you, given your line of work, but it's not always a happy job carrying the keys. I got a call from Shawshank. I found a kid in a cage. What I hear, prison's full of cells. Not a cell. A cage. Henry, I'm just an old school cop. Corrections? That's a whole nother world. Oh, another world. Same blue line. You know where he did it? Castle Lake. The bluff. Right where I found you. Damnedest thing. Huh. Oh my god, I did not... I had not picked that up at all. He's the cop that found Henry. He was. Oh my god! I should have known when he said Sheriff. He said, he said it several times. Shit! So, 
What? What? Why she got an egg timer looking at a picture? Fly up and coat with. You Deaver. Oh my god. Whoa. quite amazed so Henry in 1991 11 year old Henry Matthew Deaver goes missing he goes missing for 11 days his dad either goes searching for him or, he's, or he went missing with his dad his dad's found horribly injured I think they said his back was broken or his neck or something bad happened they assume Henry must be dead, but then Pangborn, the sheriff, finds him alive. No, it doesn't look like there's just any harm to him. He doesn't even look like he's malnourished. And he's like, you should be dead within an hour out in these temperatures. It's been 11 days. But he's either doesn't remember anything or he's been told to say he doesn't remember anything or he's just saying he doesn't remember anything, but there's no facts coming out of Henry Deaver at 11, or however the hell old he is now, plus 17 years. 27 years. Okay, that was cool. Then we have Pangborn Older is, with, is now with Henry's mum. That was interesting and I just I just love Papa Garvey he's a very different character but I'm still like he's a cop he's gritty I can never believe that guy's in his 70s he's so like so that that was that we've also got 
this guy who I don't think we have a name for yet, who's Bill Skarsgård, who's locked up in Shawshank. He's been there, we don't know how long. We know that no one's been on that floor for 30 years. We know that Lacey had kept him captor and when he decided to kill himself, he says to him, when they find you, so he knows he's going to be found, when they find you, ask for Henry Matthew Deva. Then he goes off and decapitates himself with a Lincoln. Interesting approach to suicide. And of course, those of us who are lost fans are probably wigging out on the older noose situation as well. We'll say no more of that. But the town turned on little Henry Matthew Deaver, we learned. And they've accused him of somehow being complicit in what happened to his father. But there's all kinds of weird stuff. Like that guy literally stops in the street and was like, hello, killer. So they're not forgetting. This isn't like past tense to them. It clearly still haunts the town. Okay. We've also got the, the old lady who was being executed came back to life afterwards. Like, did they end up killing her again? Is that just closed now? Or is that going to come back up? So we've already got like several mysteries kicking off right at the beginning. And Bill Skarsgård's just gone postal inside the prison. There looked like there were a number of guards that had been murdered. And our Levinsky, who I really don't want anything to happen to, he's basically shitting himself. <laughs> so I'm hoping Bill Skarsgård will remember and he won't hurt him. That will be my preferred outcome. He's clear, he's about to become a daddy. He's got a little baby name book. He pitched a call to make sure that he was going to be taken care of. Please don't let that man die. Please don't let that man die. Oh, my sweet summer child. I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. It was my kind of premiere. They're just laying the groundwork. Here are the characters. Let's introduce them. But, you know, the great mysteries kicked off this episode. Like, it started. I'm not left going, oh, that was... I'm clear on where the mysteries are right now. I'm sure we're going to be taken, you know, around the houses a fair, a fair few times before we get anywhere near what was really going on. But I really like that. I'm trying to think, did I forget anything significant? We've obviously got the politics inside the prison. We have this new <sighs> warden who's just insane. There's just no morality in her at all. She is full corporation. Protect our reputation at all costs. And, you know, never mind the fact that we've had some poor chap locked in a cell for God knows how long. That's pretty sickening. Yeah, I'm ready for the next episode. I'm really excited. Hulu actually dropped three episodes all in one. So they were intending to do it for, for a while. They did. They, they'd given us the first three. So you'll be watching this on Friday, hopefully. I don't know how quickly I'll be able to get each of those three episodes up, but I put a little post with my Monday videos to let people know what my schedule is for the week. So if you take a look at that, and then you'll know when Castle Rock will be airing. Uh, normal schedules, it will be Friday, so we do The Handmaid's Tale Monday and Wednesday, and then we do Castle Rock on Friday, but obviously that's assuming one episode a week. And we've now got three to deal with. So we'll figure that out. I'll try not to make you wait, you know, all of that time, another another two weeks to get those episodes, which you would have already watched. But it will be dependent on time. I really hope you've enjoyed this reaction. If you do, please like, subscribe, stick around. You can support the channel on Patreon as well at www.patreon.com forward slash script tonight. And... Have a great rest of your day. Until the next time, bye-bye.